Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the next topic is direct mapping. <coughs> Make suppose this is main memory and this is cache. Uh, so each line in cache main memory is word. Suppose the word size here is one byte. Suppose here the cache contains each line can, can occupy two words. Two words here and two words here, two here and two here. So eight words, eight bit. Suppose this is eight bit cache, eight byte cache. So the width of cache, the, the, this is called width of cache. The number of words per cache line, also called block size. Block size. From the basics of the cache, we have learned that cache will the data moment from main memory to cache will be in blocks. So blocks means junk of words. So how many words will be junked to make a uh, block? This depends upon the block size. So block size here is two number of words in the cache lines. Two. So we have sixteen cache lines here in this example. So we have to divide it by two. Sixteen divided by two. Like this. These two. This is block zero. The next two block one. The next two block. Two and so on, and the last two block number seven. Meaning that we divide sixteen by two, so total eight blocks in the cache. So the mapping function, what does it do? We have eight blocks cache, and eight blocks in main memory, and four lines cache. So how to uh, Make space for these eight lines in four, eight blocks in four lines. This is decided by mapping functions. So in direct mapping, each for each block, the cache line number is predefined. And for associative mapping, the cache line number is not predefined. Predefined means it is decided uh, before. For the processing and always fixed, and not predefined means not fixed. So it can go this to is anywhere. more simple. This is now this is block number or cache lines, cache, and this is main memory. So now this is block number. So block zero contains two words zero and one. Block two contains two words two and three. Block two contains two words four and five. And block 7 contains two words 14 and 15. So in direct mapping, suppose in this example we have four cache lines. So the first four blocks, these will go here. 0, 1, 2, 0 will come here, 1 come here, 2 come here, and 3 come here. And then the next four. 0 come 1 4 come here 5 come here 6 come here and 7 come here again if the cache uh, is uh, have large size so the next four will also again come here like this but in this example this is no uh, only 7 so it's enough but if there is more uh, blocks in the main memory for example uh, 8 come here, 9 come here, 10 come here, and 11 come here. So if you look at this example, 0, 4, 8 fixed here, 159 fixed here. So if we divide 0 by 4, uh, 4 by 4, 8 by 4, each will give uh, remainder 0. Okay, we will talk about it in the next slide. This is another example. In previous example, we used uh, eight bit cache. It is sixteen bit cache. 
uh, and the word size was one byte here uh, again the word size is one byte so block size is two byte again here so 16 divided by 2 8 cache lines so number of cache line in this example is 8 and the main memory example is 16 byte so 16 divided by 2 which is 32 memory blocks and 2 raised to power 6 is equal to 16 it means we need 6 bits for uniquely identifications of these addresses so in this example mapping what we'll do to map these 32 memory blocks into these 8 lines so in direct mapping as I told you the line number is predefined using this formula so if someone asks you you have to write just this formula that the direct mapping the cache line number for each block in the main memory is predefined using this formula where i is the cache line for example the block number 5 in the main memory i use this formula so j is 5 mode c for example in the previous slide the c was 4 total number of cache lines was 4 so 4 5 mod 4 is equal to 1 5 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 1 is the remainder so remainder is car mood so it means that line number block number 5 of the main memory will go to line number 1 of the cache so the cache line number is predefined using this formula so this is just simple but okay you can see here for example is the four uh, cache lines so line number 0 4 8 will come to the first line 1 5 9 you can see if you divide it by 4 remainder will 0 if you divide each of this by 4 remainder will be 1 remainder will be 2 and remainder will be 3 this is a general formula for the direct mapping here you can see that for this line number 0 block number 0 and 4 will come 1 and 5 2 and 6 3 and 7 so uh, the mapping functions so what is the disadvantage for example we have a process which uses block 0 so if I need uh, the block 0 is here for example this block came here in the same process I, re I need block 0 block, block 4 as well so block with arrival of block 4 block 0 will go out so again if I need block 0 it will come in and block 4 will go out so if same process uses these two blocks 4 and 0 it will come in and out in out and out this in out is called tracing we need two such type two are uh, more than two such type of main memory blocks which are x by the same process so again and again because it is not possible that at the same time we we give space to these two blocks because the line number for both is same we cannot move block 0 or 4 here so this concept is called threshing even we need block 0 in the next few seconds or few moments we just trace it because the block 4 is coming so this is called a uh, disadvantage of direct mapping okay the next uh, point in the direct mapping is, is simple because if i need block 0 the uh, processor will just, just check here it will not check because this is not possible that block 0 come here or here or here it will just check the specific slide so it's very quick and the next one there is no replacement algorithm block 0 will come directly here and we will replace block 4 if it's already here so this is the simplicity of the direct mapping oh and this is the this is not very important but just the previous slide was important and this formula is important but this is just the address structure for example we have 8 bit address so the first bits this, uh, these are called least significant bits these are for uniquely identification of the words 
in the black for example in the previous example uh, we used two blocks two words in in each cache block zero and one block uh, word number zero so the first these are two bits two bits are enough to identify four words if we have a cache uh, here the black cell is four means the number of words in each cache line so if we access the word from the cache we use these bits specific words for example if it's zero zero it means word number one of the block if it's zero one word number two of the block and one zero number of word two one two and three so these are four two bits are enough to uniquely identify four different words the next are most significant uh, bits it and it used for uniquely identification of the cache line so it depends on the total number of cache lines so it's four to raise to the power four it can identify uh, 16 cache lines in this and the remaining two are tags used to identify the memory blocks just which number of block is it so this i i already talked about this s plus is a total bit and two raised to power s plus w this is the number of addressable this is n power the number of addressable units block size number of words per block and so on and so forth.